quick. All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Luis Morales, health coach, uh, health fitness specialist with Exos here at Autodesk. And this is the 11 a.m. stretch break on a beautiful Thursday morning. All right, you guys. So before we get started, if you guys have any suggestions or anything in particular that you feel needs a little bit of extra love uh, today, feel free to drop it in the chat. You can also say it out loud. We're always open to suggestions here. Um, always looking to, to help you guys out in any way that I can. So I have a plan. If you guys have suggestions, great. If not, we can go ahead and, and get into it. I'll give you guys a second to do that. All right, everybody, not seeing anything in the chat, but I will keep my eye on it as we go. If you guys get inspired, feel free to drop something in there. Again, always open to suggestions. What we're gonna do today, guys, is start out on the ground here, in particular, in a half kneeling position. So if you're on some hardwood floor or you know the ground is usually not that soft, feel free to grab a pillow, uh, a pad, maybe fold up your mat a little bit or something just to make that contact with the knee in the ground, not something that's uncomfortable. <sighs> Wanna stay comfortable. All right, you guys. So what we're gonna be working on here today to start is a hip flexor stretch. So I got one knee down on the ground here. My left knee is down on the ground. What I'm gonna do first is check in with that glute. So squeeze that back glute super, super hard. It's my left side here, big left glute squeeze. Going to pull the belly button in towards the spine a little bit, engage in those abs, and then we can start to kind of push the hips forward here. We're looking for a light kind of medium stretch here in the front of that hip. And so once we can find some of that tension, let's try to breathe into that tension. <sighs> Making those exhales a little bit longer than our inhales as we go. Keep that glute squeeze. There we go. We're going to go for one more breath here. Nicely done. Okay, let's shift our weight back here a little bit. We can come back onto that left knee. We're going to turn it on over to the other side. So right knee is down on the ground here. All right, other foot or other leg out in front to support. We're gonna go through that same checklist, okay? So checking in with that glute, my right glute is gonna squeeze super hard. Belly button is pulled in towards the spine. We can start to push the hips forward here a little bit, looking for that medium stretch. And then nice, calm, deep breathing. Well done here, you guys. Keep that glute squeeze going. That is kind of the paramount piece of a good hip flexor stretch. Let's do one more big breath here in this position. Well done, you guys, on that exhale. We can go ahead and shift our weight back here a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come down to a hands and knees position on the ground here. We wanna make sure we have a little bit of space uh, off to the side here. So what we're going to do, hands and knees, so the hands are planted under the shoulders, the knees are under the hips. We're going to take one leg, shoot it out to the side, kind of like a kickstand. So from here, I'm going to bring my camera down a little bit here real quick. All right, so you guys can kind of better see what I got going down down here. All right, so with the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, we're going to kick that leg out kind of to the side. Doesn't matter which side we start with, but this foot that's out to the side here, all the whole bottom of my foot is in contact with the ground here. So all my toes are on the ground here. Make sure that that foot can stay planted. From here, we're gonna tighten up the abs a little bit. We're gonna rock back, trying to bring our glutes back to that heel, keeping the back nice and flat. We're gonna squeeze those glutes, come back forward onto the hands a little bit here. Let's do that a few more times. We're looking to feel some stretch through that inner hip, through that inner thigh. Just rocking back as much as we can. We wanna still have the stretch be tolerable. We don't want this to be painful or uncomfortable. Do what you can, keep that nice deep breathing going. Well done, you guys. All right, next one is gonna be our last one on this side. Let's shift that weight back. 
and squeeze those glutes, come back up. Nicely done. All right, we can pull that leg in. You guys can stick your other leg out. I'm gonna turn myself around so you can see the working side here. Leg is gonna come all the way out to the side like a kickstand once again, whole foot on the ground. So once we have our position, hands planted under the shoulders again, we can start to shift those hips back, glutes to heel. Keeping that back straight, we're gonna squeeze those glutes and come back forward. Remember the breathing. Be easy on yourself with this one, guys. We don't want it to feel like something is gonna tear or pop. We don't need it to be that intense. All right, wherever we're at, let's make this next one our last one. Rocking back, core tight, back flat. Feeling that inner thigh stretch and then we're squeezing the glutes coming back forward. Nicely done, everyone. All right, let's pull that leg in. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stay here, hands and knees. We're gonna stretch out our sides a little bit here. So the knees, they were under the hips. We can kind of spread them apart a little bit. If that's what you prefer, you can keep them under the hips or a little bit wider. Let's walk those hands way out to the left. And from here, we're gonna sink back into some child's pose. So bringing those glutes back to, towards our heels, our hands are kind of planted way out to one side. So that should open up our right side if our hands are way out to the left. As we sink back into a comfortable position, let's breathe. Let's try and open up this right side. <sighs> Expanding the rib cage with each breath. Stretching out some of those side body muscles. <sighs> Maybe we're feeling this in the back a little bit as well. Just a nice stretch all the way through that side. Well done, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and bring ourselves up. We can put some more weight into those hands. And now let's walk those hands all the way over to the other side. So knees stay planted where they're at. My hands are way walked out to the right here. I'm gonna sink my hips back, pull the hands into a comfortable position. My left side is now nice and outstretched. Let's continue that calm breathing. Good job, you guys. Open up that left side now. Using the breath. With each inhale, let the Torso expand and inflate like a balloon. And on the exhale, we're deflating. Let's do one more breath. After that breath, you guys, let's rise, put some more weight into those hands. We can walk those hands back into the middle. And from here, our last movement of this break is going to be on the ground on our backs here. All right, you guys. So lying down on my back here, you guys can have the knees bent or the legs outstretched, whatever is more comfortable for you. On the ground here, we're actually going to be doing a neck stretch. <clears throat> I like this one a lot lying down just because there's not a whole lot of compressive forces, gravity and the weights of our heads. We're not going to be compressing our neck while we're doing this stretch. So what I'm going to start with is my right hand. The right hand is going to come up and over my head. I'm going to grab onto my, the side of my head near my left ear. So right hand is near the left ear. I'm going to pull my head, not too hard, but kind of pull it into a stretch position where my head is still resting on the ground, but I'm pulling my right ear towards my right shoulder. So the right ear is near the right shoulder. 
I'm still facing the ceiling here, so there's not a whole lot of twist going on in my neck. And I'm feeling the tissue on the left side of my neck and top of my shoulder open up a little bit with each breath. Remember, medium stretch is the goal here. Good work, you guys, good work. Let's do one more big breath. Well done, we can now kind of pull our heads back into the middle here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So the right arm is gonna relax now, left arm's gonna come up and over, I'm gonna grab onto my head near my right ear. Head is still relaxed on the ground. We're gonna pull the left ear towards the left shoulder. <sighs> Feeling a stretch now in that kind of right side of my neck, upper shoulder area. <sighs> Breathe into the tissue here. Good work, you guys. Keep that breathing going. Make sure the head hasn't twisted at all. We're still looking straight up towards the ceiling or sky. All right, last breath. On that exhale, we can kind of bring our heads back into the middle here. You guys can stay in that position if you'd like. I'm gonna roll myself up. That is all the time I have left here for the stretch break this morning. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is Thursday, which means there is exercise with exos today. Jazzy is back. She is going to lead us through that workout. And then later on today, there's another stretch break at 2.30 p.m. with me as always. It's Coach Luis here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day, rest of your week, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Luis. Thanks, Luis. Thank you all for coming. Hope everyone has a great day. Take care.